Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. I hope you are doing good today. Today I am going to show you how I made this dress. This is very simple. You only need 3 meters of fabric to make this. So, if you are new here, welcome. If you are a returning subscriber, welcome. Please subscribe to my channel, like the video and also share it. And also please drop your comments. Let's get to it. So I have folded my fabric to get the amount that you need to fold. Get a quarter of your hips measurement and add about 5 inches. My hips is 42 divided by 4, that is 10.25 plus about 5, that is 15.25. Here I have 15.25 which is perfect. You need to draw your baseline. Place 5 inches on the baseline. And then you start to mark your vertical measurement. I'm going to mark my chest measurement, which is 9. Chest measurement is arm side divided by 2. Mine is 9. Waist measurement, mine is 15.5. And then the length of the dress, the longer length is 45. I want 45. So I'll draw it into a straight line. Now on this line, which is the baseline, mark your shoulder width divided by 2, mine is 7.5. From this 7.5, I'll go in by about 2.5 inches. So this is what I need. The shoulder measurement is no longer necessary. So guys, I'm going to clean this 7 inch mark so that we don't get confused. Alright, on the chest line, I'll take my bust measurement. My bust is 34 divided by 4. I have 8.6. So I'm just going to make it 9 inches. On the waist, my waist is 30. 30 divided by 4, 7.5. So I make it 7.75. Now I am going to connect this mark to this mark. And then the chest line to the waist line. And from the waistline, I'll connect to the end of the fabric. Let's go back to the neckline. You need to determine how deep you want your neckline to be. You know we have already taken 5 inches away. So from the chest line, I'll go upward by one and a half inch. And then I'll connect this mark to this mark. So I'm going to have the seam allowance of one inch all around. Like we had one inch here, you had half inch here. So by the time I'm cutting, I'm going to cut following this dotted line. So now cut this top part. When you open it up, this place where it ended, make a mark. For the short part of the dress, from my waist here, I have 21 and a half. So instead of making it straight, because I want it to be full, I'll start from here 21.5. I'll open up this fabric. Curve it up to here. So you can fold your fabric back and then you cut. Alright, so when you're cutting for the other part, you cut like this the neckline. When you get there, you go like this straight down to here. Alright. This is going to be the front pattern. After opening it, I realized that I needed to cut more. So it's better now. To cut the back pattern, I'm going to cut the same thing. I'll be putting a zipper at the side. 
place the front pattern on it, right sides facing. I'll pin it down. So after cutting it, we are going to work on the neckline for the back because it's not going to have a V neckline at the back. So now that I have cut it out, this is the front pattern, right? Now let me do this. So for the back neckline, I want it to be straight. I will connect one armhole, right, to the other. Then I'll lift it up, okay, lift it up and cut it out. 0 0.5 or 0 0.25 inches above. Before we separate it, remember that we cut 5 inches away for the front neckline, right? For the back, I'm going to place my 5 inch mark here. Up to here, I have 8.75. So 8.75 plus 5 inches, that is 13.75. So that means my strap is going to be 13.75. We will keep that in mind. I want my dress to have pockets. From the waistline, I'll come down by 4 inches. So this is going to be the start of my pocket. Here as well, I'll mark 4 inches from here. For the pocket, you fold your fabric into 4. So I have 4 pieces of pocket now. I have cut out the strap. Remember the strap we measured was 13.78 or something? by 1.5 so i will fold it right side facing okay and then sew straight down for both turn it to the right side and then i'm going to sew it here that is one you know how to fix the pocket so that will be right side facing First of all, you sew the pocket, you top stitch it, and then you join these sides together. I'll fix it on the other side as well. You know, I stopped at my chest line. I'll come down by about half an inch so that it can drop down a little. I'm going to do the same at this side. All right. That means that for the back pattern, I'm going to also reduce it by half. Come down by half inch, come down by half inch, join it together and then cut it. So for the front pattern, I may not be able to completely prevent gaping. But what I'm going to do is this. I'm going to measure what I have here. So let's say I cut this part out, okay? Measure what you have from the top, like this. I have about 6.5. I'll find the midpoint. That's about 3.25. So from... This midline, connect it down this way, diagonally, and come down by about 3 inches. I want to take a dart. So I'll take 0 0.25 inch on the left and on the right. I'll do that while I'm sewing on both sides. And just stop here, stop here, alright? So that will help me prevent at least a little gaping. Now I am going to cut the lining. So the lining is about the same thing as this. The only difference is just that it is going to be shorter, all right, than this. So let me cut it out and show you. Okay, this is the one for the front. I cut out the same thing for the back, but I later trimmed out the top part, just like we did while we were cutting the main pattern. So here I have sewn the dress. I have taken in the dart on both sides, and I have also sewn the zipper. Now, when you're sewing this corner, you have to notch after sewing so that it can ease the tension in that area. I have also fixed the pocket. The next thing is to pin the strap to the dress. So you have to take your time so that it will align well. All right. Pin it first to the front on both sides. And then you flip it over this way. Ensure that you're pinning on the right side. Okay, you're pinning on the right side of the dress. 
now that that is in place the next thing is to introduce the lining so for the lining i have also taken in the dots and i have sewn the sides so the side that i left open on the lining is where the zipper will be this side and that should be about 10 to 11 inches now you're going to put the right side of the fabric inside the right side of the lining this way and then you align just like I am doing and you sew the top part with the 0.5 or 0.25 inch allowance when you're sewing ensure that the strap is tucked in flatten your zipper area this way such that you're going to sew on the tip of the zipper So here I have sewn the top part with a 0.5 inch seam allowance. Now to close the zipper area, I am going to open up the zip this way and then I will sew right on the tip of the zipper and then you hem the bottom. Now that the sewing is complete, here I have trimming the excess fabric at the strap area so that it won't be bulky by the time I turn it to the right side. And voila, the dress is ready. Flip the lining to the wrong side. And then the last thing you're going to do is to understitch on the neckline. One thing I should have done better was the lining. I think I should have cut it in um, a line shape and not the shape of the dress now this is the pocket and you see our dress is ready and you can rock it anyhow you want with a brooch or just the way it is it is a very very simple dress thank you very much for watching i hope it was helpful please like share and subscribe and please please drop your comments share this and um, turn on the notification bell so that you don't miss out on the next tutorial so we see you again next time. Take care of yourself. Bye.